Welcome to Nepal, which is located between India and the Republic of China. It is about 0.1% of the Earth, a popular country, with Mount Everest as the highest peak, birthplace of Lord Buddha and homeland of brave soldiers, the Gurkhas. Nepal, a blend of ancient history, culture and scenic nature, extends to 147181 square kilometers as its total area. Nepal's main geographical features are snow-capped peaks, lower mountains and hills, and fertile plains that arise, followed by tropical forests. This country offers an incomparable scope to let you know about art and culture with its numerous paintings, stone sculptures, wood carvings, and metal craft work. So, for every tourist, writer or scholar, whoever is in search of a Shangri-La, Nepal would be the best destination. Among eight World Heritage Sites declared by the UNESCO, Today, this team is ready for river rafting and has travelled from a hotel in Kathmandu through Thankot and Nobuse. Passing through beautiful landscapes on the way, after three hours, we come to Chorongdi, the main spot to begin river rafting. This river is the closest spot for river rafting from Kathmandu. Large buses or other modes of transportation can be used to reach this river because it is only 80 kilometers away from Kathmandu. The river rafting begins from this spot and is done in this river for one day till three days. <laughs> However, river rafting is also done on a daily basis on most of these rivers. There are different kinds of waves that are seen in this river. Okay, forward Jim, forward, forward. Twin rock, ladies delight, landslide, upset, corner rapid and surprise rapid are some of the waves this water holds. During rainfall, a rapid of 3 plus can be calculated in this river. Rafting is a very thrilling experience. We need a knowledgeable and a potential rafting guide for this. During rafting, we must listen and follow the guide's instructions and directions. Here, all the tourists are having a good time and look happy going through the waves. They are happy and are moving along the river. 
Here, the river rafters are busy enjoying swimming as there is low waves in this area. So now, we have come to an end of this one-day river rafting. Our river rafters are slowly getting back on the banks of the river and the guide has already started putting the boats out. Then, everyone returns the equipments to the managing agency and head towards today's destination. The next destination is drive to Chitwa National Park to experience the flora and fauna of this place. This park is situated in lowland subtropical jungle and surrounded by two main rivers, Rapti and Narayani. The total area is 932 square kilometers. There are many safari activities to explore this park. And safari on elephant back is one of the most exciting of all. It takes you from grassland to dense sal forest to get a close look on the wild animals there. Obviously, this swamp marshy grassland is suitable for many big mammals particularly one-horned rhino royal bengal tiger sloth bear deers and many more next safari is jungle walk Any knowledgeable guide is always keen to show and explain on plants and animals. Walking on dry leaves and flanked by giant trees and curiosity to know more leads you near the rivers. Among these endangered species in this river are snouted gharial, popularly known as fish-eating gigantic crocodiles and marsh mugger crocodile in the water, or sometimes squatting on the bank of river with their jaw wide open. After mating, the females lay egg in the sand. This river also offers a wintering ground for many migratory birds. Among 526 species of birds, not only the residents but also migratory birds are seen. However, this river offers a wintering ground for many migratory birds like Brahmini duck or Rudishell duck, cormorants and many more. For this, boat ride is a very good idea. We can also see many migratory birds like small egret, black neck strokes, white neck stroke, the pied kingfisher, hornbills, peacocks, peahens, floricans, 
red-headed dragoons and many more. No doubt, this area could be a bird watcher's paradise. After this, it is now time to visit the elephant stable where our friendly guide is waiting for you to explain about this giant animal which is the Asian elephant. Its type, food habit and many more information and finally you can enjoy photo session with this beautiful elephant. Tall grasses known as elephant grass and marshy land is a favorable place for the one-horned rhino to graze, which is black in color, huge in size and weighs around 2,000 kilograms. According to the current consensus, there are 408 one-horned rhinos here. Small animals like jackals, four types of deers, rhesus monkey, black-faced grey langur, wild boars move around this jungle. Feeding on these small elephants are the royal Bengal tigers and leopards. There are around 100 tigers here. One interesting fact about this wonderful creature is that one tiger has more than 100 stripes and no tiger's stripes are identical. The Chitwan National Park is well known for three vegetations. First, the grassland. Secondly, the river rhine forest. And thirdly, the sal forest which occupies 70% of the total park area. Among 49 amphibians and reptiles found in this area, there are pythons, cobra and different kinds of non-poisonous snakes in this forest.
Pokhara a beautiful sunrise in this city highlights a fabulous city. Crystal clear lakes, turbulent Sethi river with deep gorges and picturesque valleys. Pokhara is famous for its close view of majestic Fishtail Mountain, Dhaulagiri and Annapurna peaks. On the extreme left of Massive, the bumpy peak on the foreground is Mount Annapurna. A little beyond South Peak, in the background lies Annapurna first. The most imposing pyramidical peak in almost central foreground is Mount Machaputre or Fishtail. Slightly east and back of this peak lies Annapurna third, which looks like an elephant sitting. The word Annapurna literally means the goddess of abundant harvest and this peak lies at a horizontal distance of about 40 kilometers from the valley. Ultra flight is operated here in Pokhara to those who want to experience the bird's eye view of magical mountains, meandering rivers and the beauty of this valley. Peace Pagoda is not only the viewpoint of Feva Lake and landscape but also a popular Buddhist shrine. Walking down on stone paved trail up to Feva Lake gives you the feeling of a mini trek. This lake is the second largest lake in the valley, measuring roughly 1.5 kilometers by 4 kilometers. Boating on this lake is very enjoyable. Talbarahi is one of the popular Hindu temples built in the 18th century. It is located on a small island of this lake. This old bazaar and typical houses with red brick walls, carved windows and tile roofs is the Ramkrishna Toll. It gives a flavor of traditional ambience of art and architecture of Pokhara Valley. One more prominent Hindu temple is Vindabashini Temple, located on the top of a beautiful mound overlooking the most popular area of Pokhara city. Looking down from the bridge, one can see the white turbulent flow of Sethi River through an incredibly narrow canyon about 46 meters below. Another interesting natural site across Sethi River are two more caves, Mahindra Cave and Tomere Cave. The former one is one of the few caves where we can find stalagmite stalactite. One more amazing spot is Pataletango or David's Fall. 
It is the point where water stream overflowing from Feva Lake suddenly collapses and surges down the rocks into a deep gorge, leaping through several potholes before taking final plunge. Here is the Tibetan refugee camp. In 1959, after the political change in Tibet, these refugees were allowed to stay here. There are two Tibetan villages. One of them is Tashiling Tibetan refugee camp near David's Fall. The Tibetan people living in this village keep themselves busy by producing and trading woolen carpets and other handicraft products. The best place to paraglide in Annapurna region is Pokhara. People paraglide not only for exhilaration but also to enjoy the scenery and the nature around.
آخر تورمون هستیم تور خیلی خوبی رو داشتیم نه روز در قسمت های مختلف نپار گشتیم کاتماندو، بختاپور، شهرهای تاریخی بختاپور و پاتن و معابد تاریخی که در شهر کاتماندو هست بعد از اون رفتینگ رو داشتیم بر رودخانه تریشولی که برنامه هیجان انگیزی بود و بعد به منطقه چیتفان پارک ملی چیتفان رفتیم اونجا برنامه های مختلف فیل سواری و کانو سواری رو داشتیم و در ادامه در شهر زیبای پخارا بودیم در نزدیک دریاچه فوا و برنامه های مختلفی رو اکتیویتی های مختلفی رو مثل پاراگرایدر و قایق سواری و گشت و گذار در شهرها و معابد پخارا رو داشتیم و بعد باز به کاتماندو برگشتیم دوستان ما که 26 نفر بودن الان دقیقه پیش از گیت گذشتن وارد فرودگاه شدن و در حال خروج از کشور نپال به سمت ایران هستند. نپال کشور خیلی زیبایی هستیم پنجمین باری هستش که من به نپال میام و یک جوری احساس همانندی و احساس همخونگی میکنم در کشور نپال امکانات زیادی نداره البته برای توریست ها امکانات فراهم است ولی در سطح جامعه که نگاه میکنیم مردمان فقیر رو میبینیم ولی صلح و آرامش در این کشور وجود داره بسیار امنیت بالایی برخوردار هستش این کشور و طبیعت بسیار زیبایی که سرچشمه گرفته از کوههای هیمالیا هست در واقع زیبایی خاصی به نپال میبخشه خودم شخصا علاقمند هستم که باز در تورهای دیگه در معیت گروه های دیگه به نپال بیام و از راهپیمایی سعود قله ها و دیدن و گشت و گذار در شهرهای مختلف نپال رو تجربه بکنم دوست عزیزم گانش که زحمت کارهای ما رو در در واقع نپال به عهده هست گانش خودش یک هنرمند ترانه نویس هست خواننده هست و تورهای بزرگ اکسپدیشن رو هم در منطقه اورست و در دیگر قلعه 8000 متری در واقع هندل میکنه و برنامه ریزی میکنه و اجرا میکنه و خب اجرا کردن یه تور سایت سینگ یه تور گشت و گذار معمولی خیلی کار ساده ای هست برای گانش در مقابل برنامه های دشواری که در اورست برنامه ریزی و اجرا میکنه برای چندمین سال هستش که با شرکت مونتروسا کار کردم گانش و خیلی خوشحال هستم و امیدوارم که این همکاری و فعالیت تداوم پیدا بکنه. گانش I speak about the Nepal. I told that uh, Nepal is a favorite my favorite country. Nepal has the high elevation Asian mountain uh, nice jungle and also uh, the big river. And it's good for all of the activities in the nature. Uh, for example, rafting, boating, trekking, mountaineering, expedition, and uh, so so. And uh, also, uh, Ganesh is uh, my friend at first, and then he's my organizer in Nepal. He's uh, professional man in expedition and in organizing all of the all kind of tours in Nepal and I'm so glad that uh, I work with Ganesh is a gentleman is a large man and uh, he organized every well everything I hope to have a long-term cooperation together so thank you for thank uh, you. cooperating so we work a uh, long time and uh, I hope Uh, this relationship is always continue and good uh, together. Thank you. In days to come, if you would like to visit this paradise without any hazard, you can contact us for all the arrangements. We wish you a pleasurable and memorable stay in Nepal.